Hey yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm kind of in the mood for a model kit build and I just received this from the mail. It is, it is the Model King Iron Spider model kit, which is part of the Marble Infinity Saga series. Now, I was very satisfied with their first release, which is the Christian Bill Batman. That model kit is, well, it's just perfection. It doesn't have any fitting issues and everything locks in together. Nothing falls apart. Now, let's hope that this second release around, you know, this time around, the same quality will be in this Iron Spider. Now, that's how it looks at the front. That is the side. That's the other side. Hmm. What I like about the Christian Bale Batman is the very, very good unmasked head. But I guess, unfortunately, with this one, based from what I see here, it doesn't have any unmasked head. Now, on the other side. Now, let us open this up. Okay, so there's the manual. Mm -hmm. I think it is pretty easy and straightforward, like the Christian Bale Batman, man, Batman manual. And it has its own unique display stand, which is always good. Now for let us have a look at the runners. Okay. Like what they did on the on their first release, the Christian Bill Batman. The runners are painted, so there's no need to paint them. And I like that. Just look at that. And then hmm, Unfortunately, I don't think they are undergated. As far as this runner, hmm, that is weird because uh, the Batman one is undergated, but unfortunately, on this one, what's it? I don't think it's on. Oh, it is. I think it is. Some are. Um, if you're not aware of what I mean when I said undergated, is that if the runners are undergated, then there's no need for sanding. And it seems like there are, based from what I see here, there are parts which are not undergated. Thus, I will need to do some sanding. I'll update you on that as I do and, and as I cut the the runners. Okay, this is gold, and yeah, they are pretty painted. This is for the stand, I guess. Okay, this is a very heavy stand. And it seems like they did the same thing as the Batman one. That this opens up and serves as a storage for the accessories. And this are the head scope and hand. Oh, and he also has some web effects. I don't, I, I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, we'll, we'll know when we build it. Okay, and hmm, surprisingly, it has screws. I wonder what part of it will require me to use screws. Anyway, guys, let's start with the build. In this case, you have two options on which neck pegs you want to use. 
for this build, I would choose the straight red one. In this part, you have three head options. Unfortunately, the only difference between them are the size of the eyes. For this build, I'll use the one with the wider open eyes. The figure comes with 5 alternate hands. For this build, I'll use the close fist hands. We have this option that if you don't want to put the four mechanical legs at Spider-Man's back, you can cover them with this four peg. But to be honest, the four holes at Spider-Man's back are not really that much of an eyesore. 
I think putting this peg on his back is looks looks more of an eyesore to me than the than the holes being there. So I just want you guys to know that that's an option that the kit provides. Since this is my pull build video, I'm gonna focus my opinion this one, looking at it as a model kit and on the build. I will create a separate video reviewing this as an action figure, meaning the pull build figure. So just wait for that guys. Now as a model kit, I think this is another amazing release from Model King. Although yeah, I, I know this is just their second release, but so far I think this company, Model King, uh, is doing the right thing, everything right, because this model kit has no fitting issues. My initial uh, worry that this, uh, not all the runners are undergated, so I might need to send. Um, I was wrong. Those parts that are not undergated, uh, it, that doesn't really leave any nub marks that much because their connection to the runner is really thin and if there are any knob marks uh, it is covered during the pull build another good thing is same as the quality that they provided to the christian bale batman wherein the parts are interlocking meaning usually the final part locks everything up it is the the same system is used on this figure so you don't have to worry about parts falling apart because uh, they did the same the, the same engineering uh, as they uh, that they use in the Christian Bale Batman, wherein there is a part that basically locks everything up. So there's no need for you to worry that the figure might fall apart when you are posing or playing with it. I think the only uh, problem that I had on this one had come to nut marks on the gauntlet, the gold portion. There's a, it is connected to the runner wherein the knob marks is really unavoidable. And but aside from that, everything is everything works perfectly. If you like to build model kit, this is one amazing kit. It is a, it is a really very relaxing build. The manual is easy to follow and everything fits perfectly. There is no pitting issue on this one. For a, for a company that is just starting up, meaning, uh, I mean, I, this is just their second release so far, they are doing the right thing when it comes to their engineering because this is one of the best kit that I've ever built. And aside from that, they even provide you the accessories that are needed. This amazing plate stand, which you can connect, I guess, for future releases. So again guys if you like model kits this is a definite recommend this is a definite buy so guys if you reached this part of my video thanks a lot if you love my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as usual guys enjoy life and keep collecting